Damn it, get your homework! Fuck! The Battle Barn is a 6.7 battle rating weapon of mass derpage featuring the biggest fuck off gun in the entire game. However despite being able to one shot any vehicle in the game, you will rarely get off more than one round before you get rushed by half the enemy team during your reload which is about as long as the British Empire's fucking existence. And it is known by many nicknames like, Battle Barn, Boom Barn, Death Star, Doom Cannon, and holy shit that's a big fuck off gun. Your turret is so fucking large it might as well have its own postal address, but it isn't actually capable of rotating 360 degrees. Its gun arc is only 90 degrees to its front so if you want an easy kill simply take out its engine and flank around it like the German invasion of France in 1940. Also the turret has only 14mm of armor everywhere so it's not like you are going to stop anything from lol penning your ass. As for the mobility it's worse than Squire without his morning tea. With a top speed of 17 miles per hour and a power to weight ratio of fuck all getting anywhere within a decent amount of time is simply not possible. You do have neutral steering however which definitely comes in handy considering your limited turret traverse, but this only works well on flat ground. If you are on any sort of slope you can forget trying to out traverse that RU251 that continuously fucking you in the ass like the EU fucked over Great Britain. Your reverse speed is okay, but not great meaning that you can pull back around a corner within a decent amount of time, but in order to properly retreat you often have to turn sideways on which takes your gun out of the fisticuffs brawl you are engaged in. As for the armor the hull is okay, but not great, but anyone with a fucking brain will simply shoot you in your rock of Gibraltar sized turret. It should also be mentioned right away that if you don't have parts and a good crew on this thing you are wasting your time because your cannon breach gets knocked out every time someone even farts in your general direction. However having such a thin turret does have the added benefit of not setting off APHE rounds that pen you. So often times you can survive at least one penetrating hit before you get shit on by whoever just shot you. It should also be mentioned that four of your five crew operate a small bar in the rear turret bustle which is filled to the brim with Churchill's personal stock of 183mm brandy. Literally all of your ammunition is in the turret bustle with nothing protecting it so if you want an easy kill on an FV simply shoot the rear bustle and watch how it reenacts the sinking of the HMS hood. Then, a huge explosion buckles the hull. Shakalaka! Twisting and shearing the mighty ship in half. So your mobility is totally shit, and your turret armor is non-fucking existent. What about the totem pole of a gun? Well it's easily the most destructive gun in War Thunder. It is completely capable of one shot killing any vehicle in the game, if hit center mass. This is due to the most powerful Hesh shell in the game which easily makes this thing the Pope of the Church of Hesh. The L1 purification shell features 254mm of penetration at any range and angle, and if you hit somebody center mass with it, you are easily capable of instantly killing them. Also despite being a derp gun it has quite a decent muzzle velocity of 716m per second meaning hitting shots at short to medium range is not an issue. However, it still requires careful aiming as in order to achieve a one shot kill you must place your shells where they can kill as many crew as possible. However with a big fuck off cannon comes a long fuck off reload. With an ace crew you can get your reload down to 33 seconds which means that any mistake you make with your shots is massively amplified. If you fail to kill or disable a target on the first shot you will often live long enough to see that target either drive off or appear in time to kill you. Also if your loader is dead your reload is easily going to be over 1 minute long. Meaning that you must have allies or squad mats ready to take hits and cover you while you reload your orbital laser cannon of fuck you. Also spaced armor will detonate the shell prematurely. In summary the gun is the only good thing about this vehicle and the fear factor alone is one of the few things that keep it alive. 
If you know how to properly bait the FV into firing and missing then you have all the time in the world to rush him and kill him before he reloads. Also with only 7 degrees of gun depression the FV will often have to expose most of his vehicle in order to properly engage you. So if you put a hello right between yourself and him, you will easily have the advantage. As for ammunition loadout you only have 12 rounds, but it's not like your turret armor is protecting you. So you might as well take a full ammo loadout just in case a miracle happens. As for modifications start with parts, turret drive, FPE, adjustment of fire, recruiting the jewel clones, and finally your mobility upgrades. Anything you can do to increase your reaction time in this vehicle will go a long way to guaranteeing your survival. For crew skills focus on weapon reloading and leadership to load the gun before the war ends. Tank driving to actually turn the London double decker bus you are. Field repair to actually repair your cannon breach before the queen dies and targeting to snapshot people easier. As for how this thing is played it is not a frontline brawling tank. Instead it is a second line fire support vehicle focused on deleting tough enemy tanks like the Bias 6. You are not supposed to lead the charge with this vehicle, rather your job is to sit behind the heavy tanks and wait until the enemy fires before driving out from behind cover and deleting the enemy from the history books. It does this role very well but this is the only thing it's good at. Trying to do anything else with it is supremely difficult and risky. So what are my opinions on this vehicle? Well it's fun but only in very specific circumstances. I will keep it in my lineup as a good backup tank destroyer for tier 4 and up, but I cannot recommend trying to do anything serious with this vehicle short of getting a kick out of deleting bias 6 at every opportunity. So now you know how to play it, now get out there and bang your face into your keyboard trying to get an ace game like I did.